Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Bose, and welcome to our video series. Proper therapy exercises are important for recovery from most orthopedic conditions. I've designed this series to provide you with up-to-date therapy regimens that you can access at home, in the gym, or on the road. I hope you find these videos helpful, and best of luck in your recovery. Go to where you feel the stretch, hold for 30 seconds. Feel the stretch in the back of your leg. Again, hold for 30 seconds. Reach back, grab the ankle. You may need to use a towel or a belt loop if you can't lean back that far. Feel a stretch in front of your thigh and again hold for 30 seconds. Stretch is felt on the outside part of the hip, in this case the right hip. Lean to the side till you're feeling the stretch all the way down the side of the thigh. Hold for 30 seconds. Leg press can be done if you have access to the gym. Bend down a little further than in earlier phases to approximately 60 degrees. From the squat position, lift the heel and slide onto the opposite leg. Hold. Squat, lean onto one side, tap the opposite foot out approximately three or four inches, hold in that position. From the squat position, about six to eight inches, lift one side, then the other, balancing on single leg, hold for a two to three count. Step backward into a lunge, bending the back knee, alternate sides. Squat down approximately six to eight inches. If this causes pain in the front of the knee, do less of a lunge or abandon the exercise. Single leg stance, down into approximately six or eight inch squat, and then back up. You can start with no weight. It's important to strengthen both the operative and non-operative knee. Increase dumbbell weight to increase resistance. You can start with no resistance and progress with dumbbell. Squat down, knees tracking over the foot, approximately six or eight inches and back up. Bring your hip out so the thigh is straight. Raise the same side arm. Bend at the waist, punch forward with the arm and backward with the knee. Hold for one to two counts. Start with no weight and progress to dumbbell resistance. Do on both sides.
balance activity doing some type of functional sport, tossing a ball against the wall. You can also do this with a lacrosse ball or a basketball. You can have a partner that tosses it back and forth. Hold on the operative and non-operative leg. Improves balance and neuromuscular control. Soccer players start dribbling the ball or even making passes to a partner on the operative than the non-operative leg. Again, improves balance and position sense. Standing on a towel or a soft, uneven surface increases the difficulty of balancing. Start with the operative, then non-operative leg. Start with your eyes open and progress to your eyes closed. You can also windmill the arms forward and backward, maintaining your balance. Progressing with walking. Taking a step, holding balance on that side, progressing to the next step. Start by jumping off six inch block or a step. Land on both feet. Emphasis is on landing control. Use your muscles to absorb the shock. Stay nice and centered over your feet and over your hips. This can progress to a 12 inch and then higher block as your strength and coordination increases. Landing on both legs, jumping lightly in the air, emphasis on landing control, keeping your knees stable. Forward jumps and hold, jump with both legs, approximately three to six inches in front of you, hold on the third one. Warming up with fast feet in place. Start by improving agility, doing a forward skip, alternating legs, progress to a backward skip. You can do this over a space of about 15 or 20 yards. Start at low speed and progress your speed as strength and control improve. Lunge out in front and hold that position and then step back. Make sure your knee, your back knee is bent. Start with a gentle partial squat and progress to a fuller squat. Squat to the same side and then alternating sides using both legs. Hold in the squat position for a one to two count. Standing on one leg, extend the opposite leg then to the side, hold the foot approximately one inch above the ground. If you need to touch the toe for balance, it's okay to do so. Hold for one or two counts in the bent position. Lunge forward, then to the side and finally back. clockwise and counterclockwise. Cross training begins with elliptical or stair stepping machine. This can be started approximately six to eight weeks from surgery. Progress to treadmill walking 
then an alternate run-walk program, then finally to running. At this point we start doing some slow figure eight running, just a light jog with gentle figure eights around two cones. Help get the knee back ready for running. Doing slow, large circles. Approximately 10 yard diameter. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Building up strength and coordination for running. Tighten the muscles in the front of your abdomen and hold for five seconds. Lift your shoulder blades off the floor. Tighten the muscles in front of your stomach. In this position, lift your hips and gluteal area off the floor. Hold at the end point for a one to two count. Bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Hold at the top. Lift your chest and your knees off the floor. Contract your low back. Hold for three to five seconds. Elevate the hips off the floor approximately six inches. Hold balancing on your feet as well as your shoulder blades. Hold for a three count in this position. Progress to bridging on one, then the other leg single leg position. Lean your feet over just slightly at first. As your strength improves, try to get your feet as close to the ground to one side than the other. Hold for one to two counts and then back up to the top. 